What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to round off where we left off, the French have launched yet another barrage of troops onto our shores, culminating in the the brief uh, loss of Quebec, but soon we will take that back. But first, let us engage this French army to the southwest of Boston. Let's take them out. So we're probably going to be fighting these for a while because they're being fired at us from the French islands in the Caribbean but I would like to hope that there will be a lull because they can only generate so many troops at a time from those islands and also the fact that we keep uh, beating them in fairly short order so let's line up our formation I've still got another set of guns but I'm not quite sure where I want to put them they may trot up to the hill up here in which case I will drop my grenadiers down as well to provide additional support and let's actually deploy these guys out as a full wing let's deploy cavalry on each flank. Pikes in the centre, General in the centre, Coeur de Bois, they'll go out on the right as well. So they do have artillery. Not as much as us, but I just quickly want to redeploy my line to find out what their dispositions are. Oh, I'm sure they had some artillery, but apparently they do not. In which case then, our guns can continue to bombard them as we advance. So we need to push up in good order, hopefully kill them and not lose too many men and continue to harry them until the stack is utterly destroyed because I've got native war auxiliary back there, I forgot about them and because we know what the AI is like when you destroy a full army they cease to become an actual war fighting army and instead they become a they become more of a raiding force and you can't really rely on catching them in any great easy positions to wipe them out because they've become very mobile ah oh, come on line up on that ridge I'd like it to line up on that ridge yeah I see your cavalry you're running so these men can form this position here keep the cavalry moving up on the flanks keep my general moving up on the flanks as well because this is, this is an army of almost all militia so not really concerned about the potential of losing men or losing many men the job is just to keep firing with our guns I've got some engagements at maximum range Push these men down into the town. Let's move our cavalry into a better spot. Let's move this wing into position. The enemy's already had a unit route. Charge in with the cavalry. These guys smash into the buccaneers. It's a lot of buccaneers.
Fortunately, they are light troops. Good stuff. So cavalry are getting yanked off the horses. So let's keep the cavalry moving. We should run them all out of combat directly first. Let's run our cavalry back to our defended area. No, you guys go for the militia first. Don't worry about the, the, the general so much. Go on, native warriors. You're tired, but you should melt through those troops. Careful. Let's focus all our artillery on this unit because it provides an amount of risk to our general. Okay, yeah, let's fall back. Bring my other cavalry in. charge this Buccaneers in the rear with my General. Get my natives to also charge the Buccaneers. You guys pivot. Make new targets for the guns. We do have a light regiment of buccaneers coming in who might cause us some trouble here. Let's go take them out. Charge down the Buccaneers. Where's my general? There he is. Let's bring him ready. Back into the mix, but not fully. Oh, artillery can't hit them. They're too out of range. Actually, you go after the Buccaneers. Let's bring the native auxiliary up to hold up that unit of militia. Doing okay. These guys can take out the Buccaneer unit, which is lovely. Let's deploy my general into the mix. Take my native auxiliary, charge them into the militia, and also gun this cavalry back to help out. Okay, it's good on my artillery to hit the general, and let's get better at manoeuvring my troops. Ok, 
get the native auxiliary out of the way. In an attempt to minimise friendly fire. This Buccaneers are wavering because my Coeur de Bras is standing up to them at point blank range. You guys intercept that militia unit. Well, now the cavalry, just keep doing what you're doing. You guys can take out this buccaneer unit. I'm pretty sure that's everyone routed now. Oh no, there's still this buccaneer unit in the centre. Continue. Turn off. My artillery fire. And get everyone re-engaged. You know, you better go for that militia unit. Someone else can take out that company infantry. Speed up time to continue the slaughter. Seven militiamen left to none. You go for them. Let's get the warriors back. Ah, these guys have spread out, so they're going to cause us problems. Unlike these militiamen that have stuck together like a school of tuna. It will ultimately keep them alive, however. Okay, let's bring them back. You guys can take out the 43rd. To be honest, all of you, actually. Everyone come back and try to take them out. There you go, it's a bunch knocked out. Although they are going to route successfully. Not without loss though, but yep, that was a good victory. Good victory on the US shores, so let's see how much damage we've done. Yeah, they've got 600 men left. Troops. So you men, replenish, they've wandered within range of Philadelphia. Who can just go out and slap them? Eh, they're complaining for now. Not for long, you won't. So if you want to consider converting Boston, then it's on to New York. Is that the only missionary I've got? Gentlemen, 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 gentlemen. Just, yeah, just the one missionary, sadly. But he's doing the Lord's work. Um... Yeah, you hunker down a bit to see what damage you can do to their troops currently in the town. Mainly because we've got other things we can focus on, such as the war with the Huron. Yes, you're there in Montreal. It's the start of a new army being built. Although, to be honest, Mr. Mirabeau, Tia Theodore. You can start marching out this way. This army can more or less end up becoming a garrison force. Still slowly building up our shipbuilding. Let's hop down to the Bahamas, which is now ours. You're picking up new men, and you're upgrading everything you can. Our tech, we're going hard down the naval tree, which is good, because we do need to start we're getting in a better position to fight the French, particularly. Especially these regions down here. Oh, I want them. That's actually a pretty poor navy there. So I'm tempted to send 
these ships down to Dutch Guyana. Let's speed them up. Let's take Gascon and four fifth rates to blockade the Leeward Islands to pre prevent transfer of troops because they have no navy. Aha, there is their navy. Wow, a bunch of ships. Okay. Bad idea. Really bad idea. And you can't fall back anywhere to safety either. Unless I go to, like, Barbados. No, you're out of range there. This hidden fleet is really bad news for our ships. Try flee back to the Bahamas. I doubt they'll make it, but we've got to try. And I think I may as well take Quebec. Let's take him out. Let's nip this siege in the bud, so to speak, rapidly. So I can end up sending more of these troops A up to Newfoundland so to secure that potential uh, that potential nest of enemy troop production. Ooh, okay. Our guns can deploy on the wall on the, the hill up here. Let's deploy one wide infantry wing. Let's deploy another wide infantry wing that's going to push around the left. Let's keep our grenadiers and some of our remaining men along the right to strengthen them a bit. So the thing to bear in mind is there are bowmen around here that we can't see. We're being hit with counter battery fire, is that from their mortars? Seems like it. Push up with our infantry and probably our general as well. Because we do have a firepower advantage, even against wily archers. The artillery has changed targets, so will we. Let's focus our fire on protecting or supporting one wing of our force. Yeah, have to kill eight grenadiers and one volley. Let's run up our skirmishers, back them up with some line, spread our infantry out wide to create as many gaps in their position. So we focus fire in the centre, because we do have an enemy threat there, but I suspect once we've knocked out a good portion of their, their infantry corps, they'll have to respond. Especially as my men start firing by rank. Militia, colonial militia. These guys are more than more than welcome to uh, charge into my lines into musket musket into a bayonet range. Bayonet range. 
So the enemy center is weakening. Let's continue the push. Yeah, the native bone auxiliary have started to show themselves. Okay, now let's dress our lines properly to maximize firepower a bit more. Native warrior auxiliary. These lads are in good musket firing range. Okay, let's pick new artillery targets. Let's pick this Hessian line. This Hessian line is going to get picked apart by just about everyone. push forward too aggressively. We want to maximise our firepower true, but also be careful how it is employed. Let's just put one courier de bois down there to pick at the artillery itself. These men can start to pivot like so. General's okay, sat out there by his, on his lonesome. This is a whole lot of bowmen there. You guys, I want to go like this before you shoot the seventh in the back. run these men up to close range to engage that unit of line. Let's push some men up here and then also push some guys up here. Starting to pick away at the artillery. Did get jumped by a warrior auxiliary unit on the flank. You need to take them out. This wing, its entire flank, fall back before you get overwhelmed. These men that are wavering also fall back. Everyone just fall back. Don't get caught up in the, the combat. You men move back. You men can continue to fire onto the mortar position. These men continue. push, including up through the town. Let's get our men back to a position where they can utilise their firepower. Ah oh, damn, there's a lot of hidden... these guys, a lot of these guys come back. So they did. Guys need to get up here. Pretty ricky tick. There we go. The native warriors are starting to fall in the centre. 
Let's get our artillery engaged in this Hessian line. Native warrior auxiliary charged in there. That's not good. Charge these men up to help hold up this flank. Lots of routing here on all sides. You guys both against the native warrior auxiliary. That's actually not a bad combination, especially when everyone else is falling back. So the native assault on this flank is broken. Let's change the target of the guns, gunner, gunner target. Hit that square formation. Let's bring up our skirmishers here. Push these men up to the ridge. So once these guys have got here... Once you've got here... You can charge into them from this flank. Native warrior auxiliary, native bowman auxiliary that's still standing. Good, and you guys also hit the native auxiliary. You yeah, see, they are good. Some more Hessian lines come back, so let's pull these men back. Is you've got to send a lot of guys to fight one native auxiliary unit. You form square. I suspect these guys aren't going to help the matter either. So let's try and engage them with my guns. I want these guys to break so I can get these guys to pivot and engage the 22nd Regiment of Militia. Good. Enemies routing on all sides here, except for... behind this wall, in which case then we will not sit behind the wall. We will just form up to fire along it. You men, change your position. And these men push up. Same with these guys. With, with these guys. these troops up to here. Pour fire into the 30th, please, lads. There they go. So then these guys can flank this last position when the rest of my line runs up to, uh, to kill them. The 20 second here shouldn't last too much longer. Let's try to target the general of my artillery as well. Okay, let's close distance. Let's get over this hill. You're half strength. You're all tired. One of you will suffer for this decision. It looks like it's going to be the 23rd. 
but the 24th and the 16th will be in position to exact a terrible revenge. So they're addressing 22nd versus 23rd, 24th and 16th. Good close range volleys in. Let's go with skirmishes to start to hunt the uh, general. Yeah, and there goes the last of their forces in the field. Yeah, the 22nd have, hung, have held on. They've hunkered down. And there goes the General. He becomes our prisoner. Yeah. Let's end that battle there. That was a good victory. Victoire! There's only 20 men remaining, so that last army is destroyed. And Quebec is back under our control. And let's rebuild the city. Good. So back up to making 20,000 a turn. Our, our, our territories are now secure once more. And I think... Well, yeah. Well, I'm probably going to lose some ships. <laughs> um, because my navy's not super strong yet. It's growing. It will be. Let's hit Gascon. Oh, that's this guy. Yeah, because we don't want to get close to there. So we may lose this army, but it's not a massive problem because we're on the verge of getting the next level shipyard. There comes even more French troops. So they were going straight to the port that we were going to blockade. But this is good, because it means I can bring my navy back to the Bahamas and then sell them to the Windward Islands to invade. And then secure the island for ourselves. To provide more goods into the inter to the global market. You want an alliance, eh? Enemies of Spain and Russia. Yes, I'll go with that, because I wouldn't mind being at war with Spain, so I don't mind annoying them. I'm currently trading with them, but should we go to war with Spain, that leaves us with lots of useful uh, opportunities in the Americas for expansion. Coaching and constructed in Upper Canada, yes, to offset the school. Okay, so... There isn't French army here, French navy, with a full army. Let's go get Sir. back into Pennsylvania. Let's replenish and let's build nothing currently. Rebuild the ordnance board. Sir. You actually may stay here to rebuild Forward. Quebec. You guys can rebuild. We do have to deal with this guy. Or well, with these territories up here. York Factory and Fort St. Murray here on territory. We do have to take care of them because they have declared war on us. But let's gather those forces in Montreal. They can't invade any of us in one turn. Wherever they land, we'll have another turn of replenishment for all our troops. And then we can attack. That's, you guys are still replenishing. It's probably because your pop is so low. Our navy can flee back to the Bahamas. Don't worry. You'll get yours. And 
so will Newfoundland. And we do have the Mughal Empire back here, so I'm a bit concerned about them, but not massively so. Let's make Invincible a general, an admiral. Then we can start to build up like a, like a, a fifth fleet, fifth rate fleet around him. Eight turns to New Haven develops. Oh, that's this guy. Okay. I was waiting for Providence because I'd like more shipbuilders, please. Oh, yeah, it was a riot that knocked out the uh, Ordnance Factory. Phew, what are they like? So we can't do anything offensive yet. Ooh, they demand trade. Well, let's get rid of the payment. No. <laughs> So here comes their troops. Like I said, they can't go anywhere immediately. So we're not massively concerned of the initial impacts of that. They'll, they'll just land and we'll intercept them at the next opportunity. But I do want to send that Bahamas army when it's repaired and restored and replenished and all those other good R words. Send them knocking on their door. But only when they've replenished, because I can't send them... I'm not going to send them when they're not 100% fit, because that's a recipe for screwing up something. So there are the French. Victor Colville. Ah, too bad you're not, not replenished. But then again, it's only handful of units and even then they're all fairly mostly replenished anyway let's take this army here at Nassau bark them aboard ship although they can't because they've not got top tier roads let's make sure nothing else can be built Coke blast furnaces would be good. Too much industrial research would be good, but we do need to catch up on the naval side. So you're gathering in Montreal, as are you, as are these guys. Let's pick up a general here. Mathis de Gibriant. American infantry mercenaries. So you're probably more expensive than line, but you'd give this army a bit of pizzazz. Lord. But what I want is to build some artillery. Can't build any howitzers, so foot artillery across the board it is. You guys are still replenishing, but I'll have to march them overland and then sail them over to attack Newfoundland. You guys are partially replenished. You guys are pretty much replenished. Goddamn, Theodore. He's a beast. Let's take Theodore and attack Victor. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Louisiana. Cheers, everyone.